Hey guys, welcome to The Drop. I'm Neha and with me I've got the beautiful and talented Sara Zahid who runs a fashion blog. So Sara, quickly can you tell us a bit about uh, your blog? So basically I run a fashion and lifestyle blog. It mainly centers around me and my life and through that I try to, you know, share makeup tips and just beauty tips and just generally um, share things about my life so yeah right and what inspired you to start this uh, it's actually a really interesting story like my sister and my brother-in-law were like kind of encouraging me and pushing me to make a blog and at that time i did not think that it would come to this point where i'd be collaborating with brands and actually like you know earning money through it it was something really basic that i started and uh, i think i've been lucky yeah. Indeed. Yeah. So, what brands have you collaborated with, and what is that process like? Um, I've collaborated with a lot of big brands. I've collaborated with uh, Cardi. I've collaborated with uh, BTW. I've collaborated with uh, I think Sokamal. And the process is really nice because um, usually collaborations don't last that long, so you get to meet a lot of new people in a short time span. So it's really great that way and uh, I think um, it's really nice to be able to represent a brand so and for them to choose you to do that so I think it's a great feeling. Yeah. Is it difficult or hard or nerve-wracking? Nerve uh, not really, not really. I think uh, um, it's it's actually pretty pretty chill, it's good. What's your favorite collaboration so far? Uh, that's One really, that's really memorable. So my first collaboration was with Sokamal and that was like my first real gig. So that's really close to my heart. Yeah. Right. And um, so for people who want to start uh, blogging and stuff, can you uh, talk a bit about blogging as a career? What do you think of that? And can you make good money out of it? Like any tips? for the people out there. Yeah, sure, why not? I think uh, it's really important to be yourself. Yeah. Because this is the sort of platform but if you try to copy other people, you're going to not be memorable. So one thing that I would recommend to other people out there is to really be yourself and uh, to try to make content that is different from other people. And for as far as making money out of it, I think the first thing you need to do is curate a good following. Right. And then be really honest and loyal to them. So for example, if I charge, I charge for my platform, but my not for my opinion. Right. So my reviews are completely honest. Right. So you need to be able, because it's just like if I recommend something to you as a friend right. and you don't like it, I'd be embarrassed. Right. So it's the same way with my followers. Yeah. Of course. Um, now you're very young and you're, you're so successful. Um, how do you balance your work and studies and the blog? Is that difficult? Oh, it is. <laughs> I don't sleep. Oh wow. <laughs> so generally, um, I prioritize my time. So I study at LUMS, which is like a very stressful environment. But if I have a really important test coming up or if I have a quiz in a certain class, I wouldn't miss the class. But if I have a really big collaboration or if I'm earning good money, so then I would miss the class. So it's just prioritizing. And then, uh, yeah, in my school, in my, when my university is on, I hardly sleep. So, but I'm used to it. It's all good. Okay. I, I wouldn't have it any other way. Right. Yeah. So who are your fashion icons? Uh, right now, I really like Blake Lively. Right. I think her fashion sense is amazing. I really like Rihanna. I think she's very original. I also uh, really like Kangana Ranaut. I think right. her fashion sense is very um, different. At the same time, she likes making a statement. Sometimes yeah. she goes a bit overboard, but I like her entire vibe. Do you have a fashion mantra or a motto? Uh, be yourself. As cliche <laughs> as that sounds, I wouldn't want to uh, follow something and look like everybody like I'm not a lawn fan right. I would never get into a line and buy lawn <laughs> right. because I feel like that's very mass produced and yeah. I wouldn't want to go into a gathering and be wearing the same clothes right. as somebody else but yeah so I think be yourself and right yeah. so do you have any tips for someone who wants to you know for their personal grooming who want to you know boost their confidence any tips uh, I don't have I do have tips for them as well but mainly I have tips for the parents. Yeah. I'm so confident because my mom every day would remind me that I'm the most beautiful, most capable, the most intelligent person she knows even though I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't. No, no, I'm so, sure you are. So I think that sort of validation is necessary when you're growing up. Maybe when you're like my age, self-love becomes a thing but you need a little bit of validation growing up. And then right now I feel like uh, girls or like just people my age should focus uh, more on the positives and try to fo and not try to follow trends. Right. I feel like you should try to do what kind of enhances you and your confidence and your beauty. 
so that would be something i would tell them yeah that's some lovely advice thank you and that's all we've got for today you were watching the drop we're really excited to share fantastic content with you on all the fun topics please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button below